We can use the spreadsheet and um, graphics view connection to look at functions by creating points in the spreadsheet view, looking at the graph here in the graphics view, and then asking certain key questions. So for A1, for the heading, I might just put the word points. And then beneath that, I can enter 0, 0, and enter parentheses. Notice when I press enter, it enters the point with the name A2, which is the cell with the points located. Then in A3, I can enter in the point 1, 1 with parentheses. And notice in cell A3, I have that point over here, A3. And I can continue this pattern just like I do in Excel. If I click the two points, drag down, let go, hover to the right lower square right here, and then just drag, I can get as many points as I want, and they'll automatically generate in the graphics view over here. I can move around and zoom to see what the points are. And I can also go to Object Properties here. For all the points, I can put the name and value there as well to really highlight what's happening here. And then we could ask ourselves or students, okay, well, what's the equation that describes this line? The nice thing is that in the input bar, if they were to type in, for example, y equals 2x, they would see that the line doesn't go through all the points, and they could try again. If they type in the correct line, they would see how it crosses through all of the points that you generated in the graph. I think it's also nice because you can quickly change the pattern right here to explore other options. So if we clear our line off, and we go back to one of the original two points that all the others are based on, let's say this point right here, 1, 1. What if I make it 1, 2? Let's see what happens. So 1, 2. Notice all the other points now follow this pattern, where x's are going up by 1, and y's are going up by 2. So here, students might realize, oh, the y value is just twice the x value. So y equals 2x. They can then go to the graphics view and zoom out to see if this line is crossing all the points. Right? And if it does, they know they found the equation that describes the points here. So lots of potential for playing around with functions in the spreadsheet and graphics view. Alright, hope that helped.